Hemophilia, once a death sentence, is now on the verge of having a cure. An inherited disorder, mostly affecting boys, happens when blood doesn't clot. Now gene therapies hold even more promise of one day curing this disease. And Maureen Halliday has those details. They look alike, their baby pictures are identical, they act nothing alike. The Ward brothers may have different interests, but Jaden and Roan have more in common than you can see. Hemophilia is uh, when you have a lot of bleeding. My blood doesn't clot like, like the average human. Both were born with hemophilia. Definitely a bleed is uh, the biggest threat to them. When I started 50 years ago, most of the patients with hemophilia had some kind of deformity or disability. You know, some were in wheelchairs, some were, wore braces, some were in crutches. Regina Butler has treated five generations of Melody's family, including her father, uncles, and now her sons, who take shots every few weeks to prevent bleeding. Treatment has evolved so rapidly, we kept getting better and better products. A new gene therapy has been approved by the FDA for hemophilia B through a one-time IV infusion Hemogenics instructs the body to create functional factor 9G that'll help the blood to clot. It's remarkable to me. I feel like I've come full circle in my career with hemophilia. Hemogenics can only be administered once, but its impact can last for years, making the injections the ward boys take obsolete. I didn't think that there would be a time where I would say there was a cure for hemophilia. I'm Maureen Halliday reporting. Thank you, Maureen. The treatment is currently approved for patients 18 years and older, but doctors hope in the future to be able to treat children as young as 12.